In this video, you will get an overview on the new maintenance functionality for cost centers. In this example, we first search for a specific cost center and then select it from the result list to maintain it. The new master data layout for cost centers is organized by clusters, each of which contains certain information. In the general data cluster, for example, you can find organizational assignments like the controlling area, cost center name and description, validity range, and so on. You can collapse clusters you are currently not interested in. In our example, we don't want to see the general data at the moment. The compliance cluster logs any changes done to the cost center. Now that we have seen it, we collapse this one as well. The address cluster is empty for this cost center. We collapse this one also. The cluster for translation and long text is new. It contains all the translations for the long text into various languages in one screen. By pressing the Edit button, you can maintain all the translations from this screen. Previously, this was only possible by logging into SAP in a different language and then changing the translations language by language. Further down on the Maintenance screen, you can also see clusters for organizational data, templates, control indicators, and so on. Another new functionality of the new master and data maintenance is the capability to personalize the view. By hitting the Personalize button, you can arrange all the clusters as you personally like it. For example, we generally don't need the address cluster as it's empty anyway, so we delete it from the layout. The same we do with the templates cluster, which we don't use. When we save the personalized layout, you can see that the address cluster has disappeared. Now we realize that we might eventually still need the templates cluster. To bring it back, we go to the personalization function again and press the Add button. There we find the clusters already deleted from the view. Select the templates cluster and add it again to the view. Currently, all the clusters are arranged in one column. It is also possible to use up to three columns. To allocate the clusters to three columns, we choose the corresponding entry from the layout drop-down list. The system then expands the view to three columns, and we drag and drop the clusters around the columns. The compliance view goes to the third column, and we're deleting the translation cluster. We then drag the clusters for control and communication to the second column, and the template cluster to the third column. Finally, we save our personalized view and check the result. If you are not happy at all with the whole new layout and the cluster concept, we'll show you how to get back to the old tab view for Master Data Maintenance. Showing clusters as tabs is called stacking in this functionality. To stack, for example, the Templates cluster with the Compliance cluster, we go back to the Personalization view. Then we press the button Stackable. Select the Templates cluster and move it up to stack it with a Compliance cluster. This has the effect that the two clusters are now arranged by tabs.